boys watch out we got them high vis colors on today and we got them on for a reason we're gonna push some dirt we'll probably ought to start out by putting a little bit of diesel fuel in this thing don't know when the last time it had fresh diesel fuel put in it here's the fuel gauge i want to say it's maybe got about there i don't know how well you guys can see that but if you actually look there there's marks on this that say 25 30 35 40 it's not like percentages that's saying you've got that many gallons in this tank cool huh simple but works look at the top of the cap buy clean fuel keep it clean yeah, that's cool while that's filling up we can remove our rain protection gear here which we haven't had to use unfortunately when it's full we'll run out there and show you kind of what we want to do i've also got to move a little twisty out of the way but this could be some of your guys' first times here i know what this dozer is about this is the barn cat we did a video on it about a year ago now getting this thing started after it had been running in a while and then the last video that we just did we brought it on out here 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 happens to be the pumpkin patch uh farm that my wife and i are opening up this fall uh pumpkin patch corn maze right north of centerville Papo's pumpkin patch if you ever want to check that out this fall have a good time but right there where the little twisty is parked we are going to be building a building um i need to basically take there's a berm here that i'm going to try and bring some drainage tile up in here that'll be a project here after a little bit but i want to basically take this berm and gently grade it and push it back out and get my pay pad my pid my pid my pad laid out here uh for the building to be built which should be sometime in july I'm gonna have to warn you, you uh, all my dirt pushing warriors out there. I have basically very little experience running a dozer. My dad, when we put, do dirt work, most of the time does the dozer work. I'm usually in the skid steer. I'd say maybe I have a big 50 hours operating a dozer. So, and that's in multiple different types of dozers, not just in one machine. So not a lot of experience with that and with those dozers, they were all newer dozers, so joystick control, so I could actually operate them pretty quickly. But if anybody happens to be in the market for a good rain gauge, right there, I got one for sale. It's never been used. Doesn't seem like it's gonna get used at all this year. And with also dozers, I have absolutely zero experience pushing that. Pushing that, pushing dirt with this dozer. You're gonna see it all from the get-go. We're as green as this T-shirt. Where's this T-shirt yellow? you decide so i think the front corner of my building it's a little push forward there i think it's going to be back here just a little bit further i think this will be pretty much my grade here i'll be pushing all that out working with the drainage back there um, to get the pad laid out we'll see how this goes most likely or what will happen is i'll do the rough work with the dozer whip in here with the skid steer and really tidy it up but right there i'm not going all the way out there with the berm but there's a really a pretty good berm here and this will be the play area for the pumpkin patch so i can't leave this berm here i'm gonna have to do something a little bit different control the water right here incoming tile plow we will take care of that let's go try and push a little dirt shall we so i do have my laser with me but i'm not shooting grades right now i'm just gonna use this as a camera mount but i will be using it to uh get things laid out properly. I just want to play with the dozer first. That's really what I want to do. Let's start this beast. Um, get everything going the way that we want to get it going. It also, if you don't know, this is, uses a gas pony motor to start the main engine 
we're gonna start the gas pony motor. It's really loud. The diesel engine's way, way quieter. Hey Steve. Yes sir. Hey, last time you came out here to help me on this dozer, you're gonna try and do something with it. It just did the same thing again where it started, it ran for a little bit, and then it died. Like that little pony motor. Okay. And you're gonna do a couple of things with it. And uh could I be flooding this thing, you know, or something like that possibly? You could be. You could be flooding it and then if it's flooded, then you'd want to give it full wide open throttle will clear the flood out. Full wide open throttle will clear the flood. Yeah. With the magneto on or off? Uh, just we'll leave it on. <clears throat> okay. All right. I'll uh, I'll give that a shot. So it's got spark. It's not. It doesn't look like it's the strongest spark, but it's got spark. So I was just trying to figure it out. It did the same thing again. So yeah, it sounds to me like you got a fuel problem. So it's like flooding it or something. It could be. Yeah. So I don't, it's kind of a delicate touch, you know, to get it just enough to be just enough. Yeah. So a full throttle though. Try and clear it that way. Right. I'd open the open the choke up and then full throttle and that'll clear the flood out. Okay. Because, I'll give that a shot. Okay. Thank Bye. you.
I think we gotta start. But I also think we have to add some coolant because I needed to do that. And I got a little too excited, but. We're gonna push some dirt, we're gonna push up dirt. It's actually pretty full, so why did it bubble like that?
I'm getting a little bit done. Man, that looks kind of rough. Um, it looks kind of rough because it is kind of rough. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm doing better than I thought I would. I mean, that doesn't look so bad, but got a little bit of a hole pushed in there. I need to keep biting off this berm here. I'm just keep pushing it out, pushing it up, pushing it up. And then I'll have to probably change my direction a couple of times to get my pad uh, kind of pushed in here where the pad needs to be. Uh, not real sure what I want to do with my base for my pad. If I just want to go on to the dirt, if I want to strip off some of this topsoil, bring in some clay or bring in some rock. I don't know, what would you guys do? Um, as long as I'm not putting in fill black dirt, I don't know if it'd be horrible or not. I'll have to do some more research on that. But most likely I'll get some rock brought into it. But we're pers we're pushing. And I'm I'm having fun. I'm having fun. But I will pick back up with you when I run back out here tomorrow and show you what's been done. But it's Friday night and I've got to run. So we'll see you in the morning. So first thing, I got the old beeping laser out here. Yeah. I actually shot my pad within like four inches one spot's a little bit it's pretty good pretty good of kind of where i want to be uh definitely kind of thought i would have to take some of this out of here and push it out but my pad's good enough that i'm gonna leave it alone with the dozer and use the skid steer on it uh, i uh, i could screw it up with the dozer and just and we'll just get the skid steer out and use that so i think i'm really happy with that so far Let's wake up some neighbors and get this dozer started. Decompression lever. Make sure that's closed. Maybe a little choke.
Well, I can't say it's perfect. And I can't say it's done. I still need to get over there and push kind of that hump out a little bit. Also, as you just saw, piling up a little bit of the fill dirt because the building will probably be raised up a bit, you know. Probably a two by eight goes around the bottom side of it until so you'll have to backfill along that side of it. So basically the bottom of the building is not exactly where the grade is right there. So I have to continue to work on it and then I'll have a tile line behind the building, probably some French drain situations there to bring in water and then also take the water from the downspouts away. But I'm liking that. Not 100% satisfied with that, like we just said. But there is one thing that I did learn running this thing is that when we pulled it out of the shed there, and you guys saw that a year ago, I, you know, more or less kind of thought like, how did anybody ever run a dozer with a cable and not hydraulics, and, you know? How did anybody ever get anything done? Yeah, you know, it's like... The guys that used to run these things, it's like they, they didn't know what they were missing with the newer dozers and the technology and the air conditioned cab and being able to hear and gps six-way blades they, they didn't know what they were missing i think we were a little bit backwards i don't think we know what we were missing running these things i mean <laughs> i that was that was a bunch of fun and i'm gonna continue to have some fun with it here so more dozer videos to come i just uh, no i mean it's it's not good but it's not it's not horrible so i think that's where we'll end this one guys thank you for watching if you haven't yet give us a thumbs up we'll uh see you guys in the next one